Stephanie. Okay. No, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you, Stephanie. I am so proud of you and so honored that I was a part of your journey. Stephanie is the prime example of what happens when we can curate positive relationships between parents and teachers and create an amazing support system for these students. Um, she's a driven woman and so amazing. Okay. <sighs> Teaching is such a profound responsibility that we endeavor to take on every day. I can say that my first year of teaching was filled with laughter and tears and lessons taught and much more lessons learned. Um, it's now been over a decade and I am learning every day through my phenomenal students. I was brought into teaching through a series of interesting events that two minutes would never do justice. Um, I am a native Floridian. We'll just take it from there. Um, <laughs> um, however, behind it all, um, and what is inevitably behind uh, most great teachers is a great teacher. Uh, a teacher that created a home in her classroom where mistakes were celebrated and learning was immersive. For me, that teacher was my fifth grade teacher, Miss Fisher. Every morning I walk into my classroom and I turn on my lights and she is at the forefront of my mind uh, and I strive to create the magic that she created for me. Along with Miss Fisher is my father. His perseverance and constant dreams, or he's, as he called them, ideas, motivated me to never settle for where I'm at and always reach for the next step. And finally, my grandmother, who was not a teacher, but a paraeducator in a dropout prevention program with her no-nonsense attitude and her soft spot for the children that many had given up on. I feel blessed to attend here tonight with all of you amazing educators. I am not here though because of me, I am here because of the resilience of my students. I am here because of my brilliant and understanding principal who uh, has to hear my ideas very often. Uh, I am here because of my glittery ball of sunshine teaching partner, Courtney Harbin. I am here because of my mother who taught me to persevere even through the darkest of times. I am here because of my extremely patient husband who uh, supports me even when I say I'm changing my classroom theme again this year. And I am here because of my beautiful, amazing, brave son, Oliver, who makes every day an adventure. And I thank you so much for the honor of being up here. How'd you, 